now let us come back and learn the next topic that is gibbs energy in chemical equilibrium right so whenever you are speaking about gibbs energy two important things you have to remember what are they you need to remember the formula for delta g as well as delta g not both the things you need to remember so what is this delta g delta g is change in gibbs energy this one right what is delta g not delta g not is the standard gibbs free energy change okay this is standard gibbs free energy change this is change in gibbs free energy right the formula for this is delta g is equal to delta g not plus 2.303 rt log q so this is uh, what is the thing and um, uh, when i have to speak about delta g not delta g not is equal to minus 2.303 rt log kc you can also write this as 2.303 rt log kp because we have related between kc and kp yes or i can write it as kp is equal to anti log minus delta g same thing by 2.303 rt that's it these are the formulas so it gives finish these two formulas you will be using it in different numericals that now next important thing very very important concept of gibbs free energy that is significance of delta g this is where they will ask you whether the reaction is feasible or not you have to remember this significance of delta g not let us write now suppose let us write the condition one if delta g not is less than zero first condition second condition if delta g not is greater than zero third condition if delta g not is equal to zero fourth condition if delta g not is has very high positive value fifth condition delta g not has very high or sorry very small very small positive value very high positive value and very small positive value what is this condition now if uh, if delta g is less than zero right that means it will uh, the reaction is will be a forward reaction and it is spontaneous after calculating from the sum spontaneous now, if it is greater than zero backward reaction is favored backward reaction is favored if it is equal to zero after solving that means it represents an equilibrium state equilibrium state right if it is very high positive value that means k is very much greater than one that means the forward reaction is almost complete forward reaction is nearly complete nearly complete if it is the positive value very small value that means the reverse reaction is nearly complete this is what you have to remember with your gibbs free energy these are the cases which you need to remember 